How to make Bombay potatoes. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Bombay potatoes are a spicy side dish made from potatoes, spices and tomatoes. We teamed up with award-winning chef Shahina Ali of the Maharaja restaurant Benfleet to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how it's done. This recipe serves four and there'll be a full recap at the end. We're going to add some oil into a frying pan or wok, the mustard seeds, the salt, and the onion. On a medium to high heat, wait until the onions are turned golden brown and see through in colour. When you start to see that happening, you can take the rest of the spices, including the ginger and the garlic, and add that to the onion. Give that a stir. When you start seeing that some of the garlic sticks to the bottom of the frying pan or the wok, add some oil. Reduce the heat slightly until you have a low to medium level. Now in certain recipes for Bombay potatoes, we don't add tomatoes, but I think it adds that extra tanginess. And a lot of places in Bombay nowadays add some tomato puree or fresh tomatoes to the um, cooking procedure. So I'm, a, I'm adding fresh tomatoes to this to give you that slightly tangy flavour. And coat that in the onion and spice mixture. Fry that for, on a low heat for about five minutes. Next, add the potatoes. Add the parboiled potatoes to the mixture in the pan and make sure to stir them so that each potato is like, each potato cube is coated thoroughly with the onion, tomato and spice mixture. Now once that's been coated thoroughly with the spice mixture, add some water to this. Leave to cook the potatoes for about five to 10 minutes on a medium to low heat, and then intermittently keep stirring that as well. The Bombay potatoes, you'll know when they're done because they will be crumbly around the edges and slightly softer in texture as well. Take that off the heat and serve as a side dish and you see that the black mustard seeds are very, are very apparent over the surface of the potato. It gives it a nice decorative look as well as the pungent flavour. You find that the bay leaf also adds to that flavour. Done.